Here on Orchids for Dummies, we are going to specialize in these beautiful Phalaenopsis orchids. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome one and welcome all, baby, to the People's Channel. Yes, Orchids for Dummies. A place where you can get your life. Now, foul pals, in today's video, honey, it's the orchid hall that we all have been waiting for. The hall from the Ratlins International Orchid Show. Um, I think that I broke it somewhere up in here. And I just tied it really tight because, you know, sometimes they'll still grow. Now, this was already here when um, I purchased it. Now, I'm doing real good with the spikes. This is actually where it broke off, Fail Pals. See? Right here. And I just want to let you guys know that these orchids were, um, they, they had to endure the most. Not only did they have to endure... Um, the transition from wherever they came from to the International Orchid Show, they also had to sit in the car, honey. They had to sit in my hot car while I was out shopping. They had to sit in the car for three hours while I was on the beach. And they also had to ride back to Alabama with me, which was a 12 to 13 hour drive. So this, that lets you know that these are some very healthy orchids, okay? And yes, I chose to get Phalaenopsis because this is Fal Pals. I told you guys, I wanted to make sure that I was getting healthy orchids. Um, that way, if they were to die, I know for a fact that it was me and not just um, the lack of care that I was giving them. As you can see, the roots are brown because they must have been using tap water or using some type of water that possibly burned the roots, okay? But all in all, as you can see, just a very happy orchid. Let's take a closer look at the blooms that is left. As you can see, you got like a fuchsia lip. Um, you got yellow and red um, striations in the back. Um, you can see that it's kind of pinkish right here. Um, it's very beautiful. Um, I chose her because I thought that she was just big and beautiful and very healthy. And I did love the colors. Um, you will be able to see the colors a little bit more when I get her to rebloom for me. Um, as you can see, it's a node right there. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about this flower spike, but as you can see, honey, it's a, it's, it's, it's a very long flower spike. Like, oh my God. So, okay. Mm. And these are gonna be no ID fails, I'm sorry. Like I said, they came from Carmela's Orchids. They had the best prices on fails um, that I was able to see from all of the vendors that I was at at the Redlands International Orchid Show. It's very beautiful, very beautiful fail pals. I'm so blessed and so happy. This is my beautiful Phalaenopsis Nina. Phalaenopsis Nina. And one of the things that I learned from my pal pal Blanca, and it was something that I wanted to put into test as well. Um, when you have your Phalaenopsis orchids, when they are in full bloom like this, you actually don't want to fertilize them. Now, I will leave a link to the video that I did that is very popular right now, which is how to fertilize your orchids and blooms. Now, different strokes for different folks, but I spoke to my pal pal Blanca and she said that she doesn't like to fertilize when they are in bloom. Now, I will also leave a link to my nursery video. When I visited a nursery for the first time and the guy told me that he do not um, fertilize them once they are in bloom either, okay? But this is not his orchids. So let me pick it up out of the pot. Not only um, does it have an offshoot foul pals, but as you can see, it still has a little bud right there that if um, treated well, it will still grow. But while they are in um, bloom, you wanna just give them some distilled water, okay? Now the moss is very icky and yucky. 
once we get through repotting, unless I see another reason why, I am going to leave them in here and repot them after the blooms fall off. Of course, you can do a repot while the blooms are still on, but the orchid is okay, so no need to continue to mess with her. Like I said, these blooms have really been through a lot, so um, as you can see, they are still holding on. They were already in full bloom when I purchased them, and they came all the way from South Miami to Alabama and dr from driving in a car in the heat. And they also, like I said, sat on the beach, honey. They sat on that beach for three hours while I was out there getting my life. Now stay tuned, Fab Pals, stay tuned. Now Fab Pals, this is the orchid that I'm most proud of. This beautiful, beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid. It came from um, a heavily garden. Beginning at the root system, as you can see, a very beautiful, beautiful, healthy root system. Okay, does it need to be repotted? Perhaps, but I'm gonna leave it alone for now until the blooms fall, okay? And um, I only had to pay $15 uh, for this orchid. They had some sales going on. Um, his prices was not as, as good as um, Carmela's, but the absolutely beautiful blooms in the healthy orchids were definitely um, a little bit better if you ask me. This is just beautiful, 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 beautiful. And as you can see, it's an offshoot right here. So this thing just could just, it could, uh, it's the endless possibilities. Um, as you can see, I have a little nudge right here that could possibly um, continue to grow. This was already in full bloom as well, but look how beautiful. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Fab Pal Maria. Oh, this one is actually trying to um, pollinate. You see this, Fab Pals? I'm sorry, honey. You see that right there? That's pollen. But we will get, we will cross that bridge when we get to it, honey. This is still orchids for dummies. Okay. Each one, teach one, honey. But yes, honey, I just want you to see my beautiful Phalaenopsis Maria. Now, she is also a no ID Phalaenopsis. A no ID Phalaenopsis. Let me know in the comment box below, honey. How did I do? What do you think? Now, Fal Pals, guess what, honey? Guess what? Hey, yes. Yes, honey, yes, honey. Now you see, honey, I don't need a dendrobium. Honey, these Phalaenopsis orchids will do just fine to keep me in tune. I finally have some of these. Now, Fal Pals, if you don't know, if you are a beginner like me, these are Phalaenopsis orchids, honey. Now, if I can, I would sit, leave a picture letting you know what they look like once they are in bloom. Um, Fal, Sogo, Yinlin, Coffee, okay? You figure it out for the people that likes names, okay? The only thing that I use to tag for is to let me know what side of the pot <laughs> to turn towards the sun. These definitely need to be repotted because I don't want any problems from these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful babies. No problems at all. And this one over here, darling. Look at that. Look, Val Pals, this is a Phalaenopsis. This is a Phalaenopsis. They do not sell these here, honey. They do not sell them. This is, um, oh Lord, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Let me try to figure it out. Fal Schillerinia Wilson. Schillerinia Wilson. Okay, honey, I be naming these names now. I be naming them. But, um, beautiful, beautiful roots. Um, I don't know if I should, I probably 
won't repot her. I don't know, Fail Pals. I would have to see. Let me know. In the, see, it's a dead root right here, and I just don't want any problems because this is all I have. And I would have to wait a whole nother year before I can even purchase another one. So let me know in the comment box below. Would you leave these as is, or would you go ahead and repot them, Fail Pals? Now, Fail Pals, this is my cat Leia that I purchased with um, Fal Pal Blanca. I will leave a um, link or info card above. This say LC, um, I don't know what that says. Okay, but we got this from um, Carmela's Orchids as well. I'm sorry, Carmela Orchids. But yes, all of these came from um, these right here came from Carmela Orchids. Now, this is, it had blooms on them. Um, Pal Pal Blanca can contest, but the blooms actually fell off. They um, blasted. I'm not a pro with Catlias right now. I'm learning, and I'm definitely thinking that this needs to be repotted. It's full of salts. Like, they've um, really been fertilizing, honey, like it was no tomorrow. But um, let me know, do you think I should repot this one as well? I don't even know. Oh, no. Come on, honey, each one, teach one. Help me, help me, help me. Stay but not least, Fail Pals, I also bought just a couple of orchid supplies. As you can see, I got me a really big bag of lava rocks, honey. And I got this from um, somebody called um, Broward Orchid Society. They had really great prices. Now, a big bag of lava rocks like this, where I live, would be 20 something dollars. Um, and when I was talking to the woman, I asked her what was her experience with growing in lava rocks. And she said what she does is she mixes her own mix. Now, I have other orchid supplies, um, but that's a different video because all of it came from Amazon. But yes, honey, I'm going to be doing some lava rocks like Fab Fabric L, honey. Okay? We are going to get that experience. And also, I bought just a couple of um, clay pots because I, were going, I was going to try to put some outside. But I actually put some, um, put some orchids outside before I left for Redlands. And honey, they are already going through. Honey, I thank you for staying around and looking to see what I got. From Redlands International Orchid Show. Until next time.